friends. It was a fantastic mail day. I got some mail today that I had been waiting to get for a little bit of time now and I'm super excited to share it with you because I think a lot of you guys are going to think that this item is super cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this guys. It is a pathtag.com fidget spinner. So my friends at pathtags.com sent me this awesome fidget spinner and man, this thing just spins forever. Now what you may or may not realize is that this is geocaching related. If you don't know what path tags are, path tags are like coin type swag that you can have custom made. Like it's your own personal geocoin signature item. And the way that they're different than geocoins is that if you find them in caches, you can keep them and they're super tradable. So this month pathtag.com is giving away these fidget spinners to anyone that places a new order. And I just think they're super, super cool. You might ask yourself, wow, I would really like a geocaching vlogger path tag and you can get one. The path tags that I make are for my patrons. Anyone that supports me financially through Patreon will get a path tag from me. The goal of this channel is number one, entertain, but number two, to inspire people to get out and go geocaching. This channel has a mission. So for those people that are so generous in helping that mission, we give them different rewards. The funds that are given go back into this channel to ensure that great geocaching content keeps coming your way. So if you're interested in supporting us, all the information will be up in the card right there. Just click there and all the support levels are there and it starts at as low as $3 a month. So I have this fidget spinner now and I'm just trying to think what could I do that would be like geocaching related with the fidget spinner. And I thought, I know, I know what YouTube people like to do. They like to do challenges with their fidget spinner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go geocaching with this fidget spinner and my challenge will be to find the geocache, open it up, sign it, put it back with the fidget spinner never stopping. Okay, so I'm at the park. The cache is 400 feet away. And so I'm gonna try to keep the fidget spinner spinning the whole time from this point to finding it, to putting the geocache away, all of that. I think what's gonna be trickier is filming it than actually finding the cache. As you can hear, I already have it spinning right here. All right, let's go. Because I can't look at my GPS because I've got to hold on to the camera and the fidget spinner. I'm just gonna go based off of what the satellite map looked like. Oh my gosh, I have to spin it. All right, there we go, we got some speed. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can put the camera down and I'm gonna start looking for it. It's supposed to be a big one, people. All right guys, it's still spinning and I found the cache. My biggest problem now is mosquitoes. Geocache fidget spinner. I decided to take the geocache out of the woods because the mosquitoes were getting me like crazy. All right, now here's the tricky part. Keep it spinning by opening the cache and signing the geocache. to put it back. I have geocache and fidget spinner in one hand and the camera in the other. I did it! I found a geocache by spinning a fidget spinner the whole time. That was quite a challenge, especially with my camera. 
And now I know a lot of you guys have fidgets out there, so why don't you try it? Why don't you try to do the fidget spinner geocaching challenge? As silly as it is, I think it'd be really fun to see a lot of you guys try this challenge. I gotta spin it again. Guys, thanks so much for joining us for this video. If you're interested in Patreon, the information's up in the card. Very special thanks to pathtags.com for providing the fidget spinner. Check them out. Make your own path tags. They're super cool. Now I gotta pick it up when it's still spinning. <laughs> yes!